Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Zombo Land Gaming. I am in fact Zombo Skater and we're back for something new. Another open world survival crafting-ish kind of game. This one is called Apico or Apico, however you want to pronounce it. As you can see, there's a B in the picture. So I'm assuming Apiary, Apico is an apiary company i don't have any idea whatsoever apico sounds good to me so basically the whole premise of this game is you are uh, i'm not deleting that world no no i want to save that world new world so the whole premise of this game is you're coming to this island to save the bees so we're going to do a whole bunch of crafting we're going to do a whole bunch of base building and we're going to make a whole bunch of bees this is a really cute really relaxing game so let's get on into it we're gonna pick some hair here um there's a beehive there's literally a beehive not the beehive hairdo but a beehive okay let's uh we'll go with that let's make some some purplish hair uh we can change our skin color let's make ourselves a little bit darker like we have a tan like we actually go outside unlike me in real life Okay, overalls, let's go with, um, yeah, let's go with like a yellow overall. And uh, we're gonna keep a black undershirt and we're back to hair. And let's go Zombarella. Zomb, Zomb, Sure, we're gonna go with that. Set sail. Creating a world and islands and lakes and forests. Ooh, oh my. Oh, we're releasing the bees. Release the bees. Anything else? Anything else that we are doing? Airmail. Dear Zombarella, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps. Hey, I used to call my Gramps Gramps. Had always hoped you'd want to carry on the Keeper family tradition, and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll love you. Uh, see you soon. Love, Nana. See you soon, Nana. Ho ho, we made it, Zombarella, and just as you were getting your sea legs, ho ho, here we are, Port Apico, and what a lovely day it is. It was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way around this place? Ho ho, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. The back of my boat. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzin' ever since you let her. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be ya. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho. I love the look of this game. It's very old school y eight bitty. Just relaxing. Oh, Zombarella, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Should I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Do you feel sick or... Sorry, there's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I'm so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to us both. You can view the guide at any time with a G key. Apparently I have keyboards inside the game. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through and I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I'll talk the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You better, uh, you probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. All right, that's Nana. So, so uh, typical WASD keys to get around. We've got uh, tab, uh, not tab, E E's for our inventory up here. Uh, this is very much uh, kind of Stardew Valley-ish and some of those kind of games where you have, uh, you know, your main hot bar inventory and then a little bit of a backpack. We can talk to all of these NPCs around here, and some of them will give quests. They all have shops. Um, a lot of the stuff is very much destructible. Like, I can pick up the flowers. Uh, I can chop trees down. This uh, bulletin board is going to give us extra quests later, but we have to be at a level 10. Uh, oh, at least 10 bees. Oh, I have to have discovered 10 bees. Wow, that's a whole lot of bees. 
one of the cool things about this is look at this. I can open up that inventory. I can open up this inventory. I can open up this inventory so I can have multiple inventories at a time. That's pretty cool. That might come in handy later. Uh, escape out of all of that. Ooh, no, I'll escape out of that. All right, and we can steal some loot from people. Let's let's grab all these, get some new free recipes of stuff. We'll, we'll discuss what all of these items are later. Actually, can I... Oh, I can't break that because I don't have like a hammery to, to grab that and keep it as free storage. All right, let's go talk to uh, talk to him again. I am not going to do voices uh, this whole entire time because I am going to forget him. Anyway, well met. What can I do for you? Where do I go from here? Ho, ho. You like your compass is spinning. Did you, Nina, give your old Tom's journal? You can check it at any time with G. Okay, all right. Uh, what does he have to sell? Ooh, so sells for 350 boats. Oh, he gets a cargo boat. I can buy a whole freaking boat. I like it. All right, so he's got all these different items and stuff. Oh, that's cool. All right, okay, okay, okay. Um, we are going to uh, ignore. Can I run with shift? I cannot run with shift. Uh, let's go talk to Nana real fast before we go loot her cabinets. Oh, hello, dear. How are you getting on? Hello, Nana. It's just so good to see you again after all this time. Don't forget to check it. Okay, yeah, we got to check our guidebook. All right. So, uh, we can look at our map with M, and you can see it's a pretty good size area. Currently, we're on this, like, little islandy area, and I was wondering if there was, like, if we had to craft a raft or something like that, but apparently we can just buy a boat uh, to get to other areas with other items, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, looks like six NPCs over here with us. We could also escape, um, and we can go to accessibility, I believe, and we can change our zoom like this, so you can kind of get an idea of our starter area here. I think what we're going to do to stay close to town, we're just going to come right up here above uh, this lady right here, and uh, we're going to cut an area down there. But first things first, let's make that go uh, small again, because good grief, that is, whew, that was a little too far out. All right, G. So we've got an overview, which shows all of the different questies and stuff and things. And I love the way they do this. It gives a very good tutorial of how to do everything and also kind of keeps you progressing forward, which is nice. I, I get I get sidetracked with things, so having progression is very nice. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve you as a guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book at any time by pressing G or clicking the icon in the bottom middle toolbar, which is, uh, you'll see our books are now down here in a toolbar. Uh, let me go back to that again. You can close any books and all menus in the game by pressing escape. As you progress, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, you have a free bee. There's going to be a lot of bee puns. I can see this now. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. Um, my book is named Beatrice. Oh, they gave us a, a common bee. Getting around. In Apico, you can move up, down, left, and right with W, S, A, and D, just like most games. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information on how you can use it. Useful, huh? You can interact with anything around you with the cursor. You can reach quite far with those cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds, just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits, take this axe. Oh, sweet, it's giving me a free axe. When you left click something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with the cursor. Select that fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar keys 1 through 8 or pick it up with the cursor. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling with the middle mouse wheel. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said don't think about it. Go and left click on some trees with the axe. You can hold down left click too. Collect 10 logs and then come back here for a reward. All right, so let's uh let's uh, let's get on our inventory and kind of sort this out a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Get a lot of this stuff off. We already have a bunch of wood, too. Boom, boom. We're going to make a little path for ourselves up here. Do, 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 do. Look at that. We already got enough of it. Uh, can I pick up these flowers? We're just going to chop a whole bunch of wood here. We, we want to get up to where we're going. Oh, look. There's a beehive right there. Make me a path to where I want to go. Uh, I got my tongue sticking out as I'm, as I'm chopping because I'm doing hard work. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to call this home right here. Boom. All right, G. Okay, claim the reward. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventories at any time by pressing E. We already explained that. Left click will pick up any item in a slot and move it to any other slot. Right click will pick up half of a stack or drop one item from a stack you have picked up. Mouse wheel on any item to collect as many of that item as you have in that menu. Claim. Oh, it gave us a crate. Nice. Crafting. Eh. 
Okay, click on it. Crafting. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one, and come back here, would you kindly? Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menu, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. Excellente. All right, so let's grab the workbench out. We're going to plonk that down right there. Let's grab this uh, crate out. And let's go ahead and stick some items in this crate like this, 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 this. Uh, we don't really need the flowers right now. Actually, we're going to keep that on us. Um, that's some flooring. That's some that. We don't need all these lanterns right now. We don't need twigs. Uh, we don't need that or that. And we don't need shrubs. We don't need those. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Uh, what did it want us to make? It wanted us to make a... So it looks like we've got like furniture or these are like buildable things or things we can use in our building operations. We've got tools right here. We've got our, oh, oh this must be all bee related stuff because these look like bee houses. Um, oh, and here's all our walls and decoration stuff. And this is like painting stuff, it looks like. Okay, so we want us to make a saw bench. Craft. Okay, can I put this down now? Uh, let's put this down right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, G. Claim and it's gonna give us 20 logs. Heck yeah, that's gonna save us some time. Next steps. That's all for this introduction, but don't worry, we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds great, actually. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. So make sure to keep an eye here. Now go, little one. Be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all. Just dust. Go and take this with you. Hey, it's giving me another wooden axe. Heck yeah all right so we've got chapter one all done like if we look at the overview bam chapter one done so carpentry now you have a saw bench you can start cutting on your logs into other materials place a log in the left input slot and you'll then see a little a handle up here click and drag the handle with the mouse cursor left and right to cut your logs into wooden planks you can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks which are used for crafting tools and throwing at birds trying to steal your stuff <laughs> could let you really don't like birds here eventually you'll be able to upgrade your tools and you won't have to chop wood by hand unless that's your sort of thing no judgment here and we've already got the sticks and the and the planks because we robbed people's chests. Claim. Nice. All right. To collect certain resources, you need the right tools for the job. You can't just go around punching trees. Axes let you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxes let you mine stone from rocks. Spades let you dig up uh, placed seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up placed crafting items, beehives, and tiles. If you make yourself one of each, I'll give you a bunch of rocks. Don't ever say I don't give you nice things. All right. Um, oh, there's my, my saw benches right there. So let's go to the tools. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Craft. Let's grab one of these. Craft. Let's grab one of these. I need more sticks. Boo. Okay. So we're going to grab this and I need E and I need a uh, logs. And we go. That should be enough. All right. We're going to put those in that place. We might as well just put the wood there. Sawing all the logs. I can't wait to automate this. Good grief. All right. Take that. Take that. Take that. You know, we're just going to take it all and then go back here. Oh, I could have left it in there, like they said. Craft! Oh, we completed another quest. Claim! And so they gave us some, some stone, which stone we can use to upgrade our tools. Get building. You know you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I think it's time we got you building your own place. Place tiles and walls will automatically snap to the grid, and you can hold down the left click to place multiple at once. If you make a mistake, you can use a hammer to pick it back up again. All right, so we need to make 16 floors and 16 walls. So let me see. How many can we make already? Uh, craft, 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 craft. And then walls, craft, 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 craft. Look at that, we already did it. We did it, we're, we're aced, we're good. Bam. All right, paint the town. So you've built yourself a cute little house or decided to embrace that f hashtag forest hermit life. No judgment here. Now, wouldn't it just be sweet as honey if you could paint that little house or color code your storage? Well, good news. You can craft dyes using flowers and glue and use a paintbrush to paint any tile, wall, or object any color you like. This must be a European game. Notice the U in color. If you decide you want to change the scenery, you can craft a scraper to remove it. So we need to make a brush. So 
that was in the very last one, right? Bam. We need... Oh, we need more sticks. Um, okay, let's put the plankages in here. No, 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 no. Escape out of there. Bam. Brap, 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 brap. Okay, that should be enough of those. Grab, grab, grab. And gook. And then a craft. Uh, can we make one of these two? No, we still need more sticks. We're just going to make the scraper now. Oh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Sawhorse. Uh, I need plankages. We just need two more, right? That should be enough. <laughs> I keep saying that should be enough as I... Uh, bam, craft. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go back into G. Claim it. Oh, and it gave us lots of dye. Oh, we are now out of questies. Like clockwork says, not unlocked yet. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do real fast while uh, we kind of have it here? I am going to make a cut, and I'm going to cut, <laughs> make a cut to cut all of this down that I can. I'm also going to upgrade all my tools to um, the stone ones uh, because I can take down these big rocks with the big stone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go cut a whole bunch of stuff down, and I shall be back for more questing action after that. Well, okay then. As I was clearing out an area. I was cleaning up beehives, and the first two didn't do this, but this one, however, did. I had this big, huge explosion that you may have seen on the screen that said, new discovery. Let's learn more. Oh, this is a rocky bee. Apis petra secretes a highly acidic saliva, which it uses to mulch out great warrens through bedrock. Curiously, however, they leave manufactured stone untouched, a relief to the homeowners of the archipelago. So, a special produce, stone, small rocks that are formed while the hive is working can be used in crafting. Oh, so we can automate the getting of items with these bees. Oh, this is very much modded Minecraft, just with... Well, there is a bee mod in Minecraft, also like the chicken mod or the cow mod. Cons conservation status lost. Rehabilitate more bees to save this species. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we've got Belia's Almanac. Oh, okay. So, discovering species. As you might already know, new species can be discovered by crossbreeding different species. Hybrid queens have a chance to produce hybrid offspring, which have a chance to mutate into an entirely new species. You can use a pred uh, pr pr predicator? Predict predictor? Predictor. That's what it says. Whew. To see the potential offspring of a queen. This book will also give you hints on what species can be combined. You could probably ask Benj Benjamin for help too. He might be grumpy, but he does know his stuff. Every bee has a set of traits depending on their species. When you crossbreed bees together, the queen inherits a mix of traits from both bees. The green one, lifespan, determines how long a queen's lifespan will be. The higher the number, the longer the life. Productivity. This is how much honeycomb or frame products a queen's hive will produce. Higher productivity means more goodies. Fertility. This is how many offspring a queen will produce at the end of her life. Higher numbers mean more babies. Traits number two. Wow, there's a lot of traits. Stability. This is how stable a species is. The lower the number, the more chance a mutation can occur in hybrid offspring. B. Oh, they missed a chance. Behavior. They missed a chance for behavior. I'm this game's done. I'm done. I'm done. They missed a pun opportunity. This is the time of day a queen is active. Can be dear, dear, diurnal? So I guess day, diurnal, nocturnal, but I knew that one, night. I didn't know there was a, a, a noc, a, I should have guessed, nocturnal's night, that should have been day one. Crep use, crepuscular, crepuscular, dawn slash dusk, or cathermal, 24-7. Climate, this is the climate a queen prefers, can be temperate, tropic, or polar. Rain lover, these bees love the rain and will be hard at work even on rainy days. Snow lover, these bees love the snow and will happily work away when it falls. These bees are grumpy and won't work when you unless you use a smoker with their favorite flowers. Aggressive. So it's kind of cool there. It looks like there's some like real life stuff to this as well. By this point, you might be thinking, wait, are these guys trying to sneak in actual biology into a game? I literally just said that. The answer is yes. Sorry. As mentioned earlier, when you crossbreed two bees, the queen formed inherits a random mix of dominant and recessive traits from the parents. When a queen makes offspring, they too inherit a random mix from the queen's dominant and recessive traits. By crossbreeding, you can get certain traits on a species that wouldn't ever get them naturally. When you use a microscope, you can see the dominant traits as well as any recessive traits if they differ. Wow. This is very much like the modded Minecraft I used to play. So we got a common bee. Uh, I picked up a common bee a hive, and I picked up a forest beehive, and then I picked up a stone beehive because they were in the way of where I want to build. 
Uh, so which is why you didn't see me do that. Uh, Apis communia. The common bee is found practically everywhere on the archipelago. A generally friendly, dependable, and well-rounded species, it forms the backbone of our modern ag uh, apiculture. Uh, special produce, fill frames, using the species to learn more. So we're going to get some sort of produce from this. Uh, they're thriving. The species is saved. So it looks like you can cross common bees with forest bees. We don't know what it gets yet, though. Oh, a verdant bee. So then we got a common bee with a uh, verge bee, and that'll get a vibrant bee, and a common bee with an uncommon bee to get a dream bee. Oh, that's pretty cool. Forest bees, Apis silva. Originally a marshland species, the forest bee has since migrated to lusher forests. It continues to build in trees, a survival trick originally used to protect the hive from swamp water. Oh, nice. Verge bees, Apis paeonae. Unlike its, uh, I probably said that wrong. Unlike its land-based cousins, the verge bee thrives in water. While other species might avoid inclement weather such as rain, this species will continue to be active. And it looks like it's going to give us some sort of uh, rain thing. Excellent. All right. Oh god, I got the yawns. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've discovered four bees so far. Oh, cool. And so now we've got another thing. Uh, why is this showing me that I have? Oh, I guess I need to look at the rocky bee thing. Apis petra secretes that. We already, we already read that. We already read that. All right, uh, so that also gave me a down here, finding bees. So let's go to see, uh, let's get to why you're really here. Bees, to get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in different areas. Try, uh, try having a look around for bees. Flying around, eventually they'll head back to their hive. To start, you'll need a plain old common bee, a bee from the forest, and a bee from the shores. Once you find a hive, you can open it with the cursor to have a look inside and take uh, any of the bees with you. You can pick up a hive with a hammer gently. Uh, and so I put those away. I need to go grab them out of our storage here. Oh, I don't want my hammer in my hand. There we go. All right, so we've got a common bee. We've got a rocky bee, which we didn't need, right? We needed a... We needed... Where are... These are all rocky bees. Good grief. Uh, there we go. A forest bee. And then we needed one of the other bees, which is down here. Forest bee, common bee. Uh, did I not get the other bee? Is it right here? Um, G? Oh, so we still need the water bee. Let's go take a... We're going to take a break from building and go see if we can't find a Horta bee. So I can walk in the shallow water, but you can't go in the dark water yet. Ah, here we go. Here's a water one right here. Boink! So this is what the hive looks like when you click on it. You can grab out the honeycomb. You can grab out any of these uh, bees that are in here. And what I also like to do is I'll take, uh, oh, that's a verge bee and another verge bee. And we'll stick them back in here and let them keep producing. And now we can go G and we've got everything we need. So claim. And uh, these are menu magic. So this ones are just quick little tutorials. As you might have realized by now, there's a lot of menus in this game. If you're unsure what a menu is uh, or what you can do with it, just press the question mark button for some handy hints. You can move any open menus by dragging the top menu bar like you've seen me do already. Menus will stay open until you close them or get too far away from them. They just miss you so much, you see. Hey, it gave us another chest. Advanced controls. At this point, you're probably sick of moving things one by one. If only there was a quicker way to move stuff around. Luckily for you, there is. Uh, there is. When any two menus are open, you can use shift while clicking with the uh, mouse, left mouse to move that stack to the other menu. If you have more than two menus open, you can use the little X button that's by here. Uh, that's the little yellow X to set that menu as the target. All shift clicked items will be yeeted over to the target menu. Wee! You can also press Q while hovering over any menu to set it as the target. Now we're cooking. Oh, what's going to give us? Bee pollen. Keeping organized. You've already amassed quite a hoard of stuff, huh? You're like a smug dragon lounging on your mountain of bees and wood. At this point, though, it's probably getting hard to keep on top of said mountain. But oh boy, oh, but oh boy, do we have a solution for you. Luckily, your inventory and any crate item has a built-in auto-sort functionality. Simply click the down arrow button to the left of the menu, and all contents will be sorted alphabetically. You can also click with the uh, middle mouse wheel or uh, on an empty slot. Ah, now doesn't that feel better? Ooh, it's given us a large crate. Picture perfect. Are you enjoying the peaceful world of Apico? Want to show off your amazing apiaries to the world? You can turn on photo mode at any time by pressing P. Photo mode will hide all the menus and buttons so that you can get yourself cool screenshots. We'd love to see the beautiful things you've created. You can share with us on Twitter by mentioning us directly at Apico underscore game or using the hashtag hashtag Apico, all in caps. You can also show off your bases in the Apico forums. We'd love to see you there. 
and they're going to give me some sticky pearls. We're going to investigate all these items at some point. Waiting around. At the beginning, you might find there's not much you can do during the night or while it's raining if you haven't gotten any bees that are active during those times. Benches and beds let you take a nap while you're dreaming of bees. Time in the game will speed up. This makes the day pass quicker, which affects trees and saplings you've planted as well as helps weather and end quicker. Sleeping in a bed will also set your spawn point. Holding R for five seconds will respawn you back at the last bed you slept in. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we got like a built-in teleport. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now. Be realistic. And it gives us a bench to sleep on. Very nice. Whoo-wee. All right. So one last thing. I oh, I am I am out of inventory space. Um, You know what? Let's, let's come back down here and let's uh, drop off two of these um, bees. Uh, verge bee, verge bee. Let's drop them off there. Then we can grab this. So last thing we're going to do for today uh, as we've explored the beginning of this game and we've gotten quite a bit taken care of already. Get out of here, birds, as we are going to build a quick house. So we're going to grab our floors and I don't want to get right up on here, but we're going to build like this. How many is that? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be good. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that should be. That should be plenty big for our first base, I think. Uh, we're going to need more floors, though. We are going to run out, and we did. Let's go ahead and put all our walls down. You know, anybody who's seen me play Tinkertown, you know I like to have the little floors underneath my wall sections. Uh, and now we need to put our workbenches down. So let's put our workbench there, our sawhorse there. And we can actually place items underneath... Um, underneath uh sorry we can place floors underneath items that we've already placed so nice and lit up uh let's grab our bench we're gonna put our bench uh right here and let's click on it so now we have our spawn point saved and what else do we have in here we got some crates so let's go ahead and put some small crates down and some large crates and then we can work on the floor later on but at least we have a base but next thing we need to put some of these beehives back down so we can actually get some bees going on matter of fact let's go ahead and stick you in there and why not let's cross pollinate it with a rocky bee let's see if that even works can i even do this there we go all right what was that what was that uh we've got a common queen so it didn't it didn't make anything oh look these guys are outside they're outside shaking around oh how cool all right let's look at our g our little menu here again and uh, flower power. Oh, we have, we have all our flowers. Ho have you taken the time to stop and smell the flowers? Your bleed, your b b b b b b b b your bees certainly will. You can pick up flowers with the cursor and place them near your hives for your bees to visit. The flowers visited by bees will slowly spread and grow. Later on, when you have an extractor, you'll be able to get flower seeds from your hives based on the flowers they visited. You'll even be able to discover new hybrid flowers that can have direct effects on nearby bees, such and uh, such as increasing their productivity or allowing them to stay up at night. Oh, that's freaking excellent. So there's like some botany in here as well. All right, beekeeping hive. We need honey and, and common bees, so we're not going to worry about even reading this. Tapping trees. We'll deal with this later, but look at that. We're already 17 out of 45 done. We're done with the introduction, crafting, tips and tricks. We have made some progress. And as you can see, this game has a lot going on for it. I mean, we've already started unlocking more recipes that we didn't have before. So there's going to be a lot to do. We haven't even told. I mean, look at this. People have qu uh, exclamation points above their head. There's quest givers. And if you look at the left side of the screen there, shows us we are on day two, and it's 1.43 in the middle of the night. We've got zero rubies <laughs> money and honey core, which I'm not really sure what the honey core is, but I'm assuming it gets some kind of money. And what is this? Oh, it just shows that it's nighttime. Don't stay up too late. Uh, we've got uh, chat if we actually – oh, that is that – is, that just closed out of my screen. Uh, so this, I guess, takes us to a feedback. I just noticed it down the right side. Feedback. Uh, we can save. And then, yeah, so there we go. I am going to do a whole bunch of just crafting off a of screen. I am not going to go through any of the quests without you guys. But I'm going to tear all this down, plant a whole bunch of more trees, and get a whole bunch of planks and logs built up. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I am loving it. It's just so relaxing and calm. And I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 this past week. And so I needed something to uh, 
lower my heart rate um, and and you know the um, the toxicity that comes with playing uh, games like Call of Duty. Uh, I am terrible at it, and all I want to do is just get my weapons leveled up. Come on! But I needed a break, so this game was perfect for that. Nice, calm, relaxing. We can just do things as we please, as is the name of survival open world crafting games. Anyway, guys, this is Zombo Skater saying thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment, share with the universe, subscribe. You know all of those stuff and things. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. A ta-ta for now. Good night, peace.